Hey there, it's Will with Event Stable. Happy 2019. I, uh, I made a commitment, at least to myself, I hadn't said anything to anybody yet, uh, about making more videos for our audience, more helpful informational videos, more product videos, a lot of stuff that I think party rental companies and event venues, wedding venues would find truly useful. I thought I'd use our YouTube channel for that purpose. So early in this year, I started working on our photos and video studio downstairs. I had everything pretty dialed in, really the way I liked it. And I was ready to, on a Thursday of last week, go and start shooting some videos for you. Then we had a flood. The entire downstairs flooded, all of my photo and video stuff uh, kind of flooded away, and we were left with a giant mess. But I'm not gonna let that, that stop me. I'm gonna still kind of pump out some videos, and so here I am at my desk. I thought I'd start talking about cushions. So, so here we go. So we'll just dive in. All right, so it's late January and a lot of rental companies and wedding venues are kind of going through their inventory of tables and chairs and, and specifically the chairs looking at the cushions. Last season, no doubt, played a toll on a lot of the cushions. I remember at my rental company, one day we sent out a bunch of chairs and somebody had some fireworks overhead and a bunch of black stuff got on the cushions and I could never get them out. A while back I did an article that I'll link to uh, again below that uh, talked about how to reupholster your cushions, uh, put new vinyl on and, and how, to, how to go about doing that. But anyway, so January you guys are looking at kind of redoing some things and so I thought I'd talk a little bit about the cushions, uh, cushion options here at Event Stable. So let's start with folding chairs. Plastic folding chairs, you don't have to worry about. They don't have a cushion. Really easy to scrub down and clean, kind of get just get ready for the season. The resin folding chairs, this one, have the removable thin padded seat. So if for some reason these are just crazy dirty or maybe got ripped or uh, stained like I mentioned, um, you can just kind of easily pop them out of the chair. And there we go. So this one's about, Half an inch thick, it's just got a thin layer of uh, foam underneath the vinyl. And then on the back side here, the vinyl's just kind of stapled to this plastic form. And then it's got these little clips. I'll show you those. The clips that, uh, that clip into the, the, the molded form of the seat of the resin folding chair. So if they get damaged, they're really easy to just repair or replace. To repair them, you just get a new piece of vinyl and Put it, I just put it over the old piece of vinyl and then staple it back uh, in the, into the back here with kind of a really short staple, and that worked out really well for me. Alternatively, if you don't want to go to the trouble, we do sell them on the website. I will link to that below. To pop them back in, this is kind of the same reverse process here. And that's pretty much it. Same theory goes with the wood folding chairs. It's just uh, that the design, of course, is a little bit different with the uh, the cushion. It's got these screwed in pieces here that hold uh, hold on tight kind of to the rod that goes through the seat and through the frame. And then it's got this little, I don't know what you call this thing, little rotating sliding tab that if you undo that, and then I actually pre-loosened this before this video, you just have to slide that away from that rod. And then, you just pop these guys right out. So again, same thing applies. If you want to replace the vinyl, um, you can just go right over the existing vinyl. If it's got a rip or something, come around, staple to the back, and then alternatively, we do sell replacements on these as well. While I'm thinking of it, a question we get a lot is, can you put the ivory cushion on the mahogany folding chair? We can do that. We can either uh, have them manufactured that way or, or swap them out for an additional charge. A lot of times though, we show somebody a, a photo of the chair and then they're just like, yeah, we prefer the, the black that, that comes with the mahogany. But uh, since I've got everything out, I might as well show you right now. All right, so I just put the ivory cushion on the mahogany chair and then the black cushion on the fruitwood chair. And uh, you know what? It's actually not so bad, either one of these. All right, so what generates the most amount of questions, because really we just have the most amount of options, is about the Shivari cushions. 
We have soft cushions, wood backed cushions. We've got spandex covers that cover those wood backed cushions. Can you put the spandex covers on the soft cushions? No. Can you wash the soft cushions, the covers, the whole thing? So I'll just kind of uh, talk a little bit about each cushion and the options and, uh, and, and, and hopefully just be able to help out with either making a purchasing decision or how to keep them, uh, uh, how to maintain these cushions or, or whatever. Okay, so soft shibari cushion. It's, uh, we, we call it two inch, it's a slightly thinner than that, two inch box cushion. Um, it has these, these edges that are, that are piped edges. It comes standard with the shibari chairs, it has these Velcro ties on the back and then there is a zipper to uh, remove the cover if you need to launder these things. They are just a, a real simple option. Um, they come in pretty standard colors, white, black, ivory, and uh, just you know standard kind of across the board for uh, Shivari cushion. Now, if I'm being totally honest, they're not my favorite uh, for Shivari chairs as, a, as an option for a cushion, uh, mostly because as I mentioned in the rental business, you, at least here in wine country, they were always coming back. You'd send them out for a rental, uh, send them out for a wedding, and I felt like 25% of them were always coming back with red wine stains or, or what have you. So I would find that uh, myself and my, my crew would have to uh, just every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, go through all these things and then pop out the foam and launder the, 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 the covers and then put them back. And as you can see, it's kind of a pain in the neck. Yeah, Taking it off really isn't so bad, but putting it back on is a little bit more difficult. You kind of have to just roll them up like this. Still working on it. Okay, now it's in. Just zip this guy back up, kind of mess with it a little bit, and then, and then you're good to go. So really not that bad, but I always think, geez, if I have a couple hundred of these things and I've got to do it by myself, not really sure. Uh, to attach them to the chair, it's very simple. The Velcro just goes around the back of the chair. All right, so that's basically it, the uh, soft Shivari chair cushion. Now, the benefit of these is that they're super lightweight. You can put a whole bunch of them in a big box. They're really easy to move and store. Um, so from a logistical standpoint, they really couldn't be easier as long as you can kind of keep them clean. Um, it, it definitely from moving around and storing is the easiest option, I will say that. So moving on to the wood-backed vinyl cushion, we sometimes call them a hard pad because of the wood uh, that this thing is formed around. It's basically just a, a thin, like 3 8 inch piece of plywood with uh, some foam and then the vinyl that goes over it. So again, kind of back to when we were talking about the folding chair cushions, if you ever need to repair these, it's relatively easy to do. Uh, you just need to put a little bit more vinyl on and kind of pay attention to the edges here and, and staple them down. Hopefully you won't have to do that because uh, the vinyl is pretty resilient. And then if you store these kind of you know, top to top and, and back to back, then you can put them in a box and move them around pretty easily. My favorite thing about these cushions is uh, how they attach to the chairs. They're shipped to you like this with the Velcro kind of ready to go. And then this piece of the Velcro has a, an adhesive on the back and that goes on the chair. It's very strong adhesive. I always recommend firing in a couple of staples because I've seen them come out before and I think a few extra staples can help keep them in place. But when you get these, you take the this part of the Velcro off and then attach it to the chair you know, where it would go. Um, a nice little method you can try is to kind of lightly attach the Velcro take the backing off and then set the cushion down where you want it. And then hopefully the adhesive will adhere to the seat of the chair and then you can just pop it up and then this lives on your chairs. So 
Keep in mind that on, you know, one, once you get these and kind of install the Velcro, so it attaches to the chair, that you can never really send out the Shivari chairs without cushions again, because you're gonna have Velcro attached to these things. But the huge, the huge plus side, first of all, is that these are vinyl. So if somebody spills a whole bunch of wine on it, it's just a wipe it clean and you're good to go. Another big plus is speed. If you have to set up an event for 250 people, all you have to do is go around with the cushions and pop them into place. That's it, no muss. It's really easy to do. You don't have to fiddle with the uh, the Velcro on the back of the soft cushions. It's just, just really, really simple. And I think they look really nice. Just a very clean kind of just a smooth line that just looks to me to be really professional and, and really elegant. So to take this a step further, so let's say for example, you ordered Fruitwood Shivari chairs and ivory cushions. This would be kind of what you would get. But you had a, a bride or a, an event planner or somebody who wanted, I don't know, uh, navy blue cushions. In a lot of situations, you'd either have to go to a, a linen company to have some special made for you, or, you know, God forbid, have cushions uh, done in, in navy blue. We have come to the rescue with spandex cushion covers. We have these things in a ton of colors. Red, white, black, blue, green. I mean, you name it. I think there are like 20 colors. There's a, a ton of these things, and I love them. They're really, I mean, uh, it's a very, very simple shower cap design that fits perfectly around the cushions. All you have to do is just kind of, if you can see this. There you go. And now I have a blue cushion with just a simple piece of spandex. So I always recommend this for, for just a few bucks. You know, you can go with say an ivory cushion and then if you want to be able to present a white option there you go white cushion so if you want to be able to present a white option you just put the white spandex cover on it um, if you, and you know you can buy an entire set and just present those as different options uh, to kind of accentuate uh, the entire event or I don't know that's not really my department I just need to tell you what's available so again we have these in like a whole bunch of colors I chose red white and blue in honor of the Patriots coming up in the Super Bowl 2019 um, so excited about that I'm from Connecticut so don't hate me too much. But anyway, a lot of different colors and these are really easy to just put on. If they get dirty, you take them off, you throw them in the laundry. Um, they're polyester spandex. The laundering uh, instructions are really, really easy and, uh, and these will last you a long time. So I think they're a great investment. Get them in a whole bunch of colors, buy us out, get our entire stock. All right, last but not least, the crossback chair cushion. We've got a uh, kind of a thin burlap fabric. It's not very thick textured, but it's got that kind of rustic look to it that I think works well with all of our crossback chairs, whether it's the Madison series or uh, the Vineyard Estate line of the crossback chairs. Now, crossback chairs, I personally think that you can use, you can use them with or without a cushion. The Madison chair has the smooth kind of flat pan seat. Um, that one I think you, more often than not, you'd want to use a cushion with, but the Vineyard Estate line has that little a little, I don't know, what do you want to call it? That little ridge that, no, not a ridge. Has a, what do you call it? Has that little channel kind of, that I think it adds a little bit more of a decorative look. So with or without a cushion, it's still a good looking chair, but I digress. So um, anyhow, about the cushion itself, thin cushion, nice burlap fabric, has the, uh, the zipper in the back, same story with the foam, and uh, you can remove that if you have to launder these cushions, zip it back up and then it's got the little string ties that attach to the crossback chair, like so. Right around the back, tie a little knot, do the bunny ears if you want. That's how I teach my five-year-old how to tie her shoes. Do the same thing with the other side, and then you've got a nice looking cushion on a nice looking chair. Perfect 
for a rental company or event venue, wedding venue to have. So very, very, very easy stuff. All right, so I hope, hope that was useful and, and at least kind of cleared up a few questions you might have about the different cushions, specifically when it comes to the Shivari cushions. You know, so I've got a lot of this type of stuff planned. We're gonna do things like interviews with uh, rental companies and, and event venue owners, um, tours of those facilities uh, to kind of get behind the scenes and get a good feel for um, how people set up their stuff. And I've got a lot of cool ideas, I think, and I, I think a lot of them will be useful for you. So um, anyway, uh, I'll put links to uh, all the cushions that we talked about uh, down below and then uh, please you know think about subscribing to our channel and uh, to get notified and such uh, you know when we do put out these new videos so anyway thanks for watching